tuning in for another beautiful episode of Wholesome Foods here with my buddy Conrad. <laughs> and the big knife because it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna get ugly today. Hey everyone, welcome back to Roots and thank you so much for tuning in again. I'm here with Chef Bernie and my name's Conrad. We're uh, gonna be cooking another wholesome plant-based uh, dish for you today. And as always, we're gonna have the uh, recipe in the description down below and a link to our blog and website, which will give a, a detailed explanation on what we cooked today so you can recreate this dish for your uh, friends and family. So why don't you tell the viewers what we're gonna be cooking today, Chef Bernie? Absolutely. Well, first of all, thanks for tuning in again. And we're gonna make a beautiful creamy polenta with some preserved lemons, sun-dried tomatoes, and that will be garnished with some beautiful charred balsamic vegetables where we make a little bit of marination with some garlic, fresh herbs, and balsamic vinegar to get that nice sugar char on the barbecue where we're gonna do the vegetables. And then we're gonna do a little bit of, since this is Mediterranean inspired dish, we got, of course we need to hummus to get our protein as well. So we're gonna do a really nice hummus there with a little bit of lemon and roasted garlic as well. Great. And they will be served with a little bit of pita bread and some other delicious focaccio and wholesome breads we have here. And then last but not least, we're gonna do a beautiful... Uh, we're gonna actually do a maple baked pear dessert yes. with some uh, walnuts and uh, it's gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm super excited to uh, start going here. So you said Mediterranean. Um, what part of the Mediterranean, um, I guess inspired this in terms of places you visited? Um, well, I'm personally born and raised in Austria, so Mediterranean is very close. So I did endless trips to France and Italy and all those beautiful Mediterranean yeah. countries where they have those beautiful fresh vegetables and very nourishing foods. So it's also been voted the most sustainable and healthiest diet out of all diets, the Mediterranean diet, just because it's basically 70% fruits and vegetables yeah. and very fresh from the markets and that kind of stuff. So Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And in terms of the uh, Mediterranean, I'm actually from Italy, which I'm sure all of you can tell with my accent. And I'm Regina. <laughs> Regina Saskatchewan! <laughs> Born and raised, and I've actually what had the be, uh, starting with Jeffrey. We're gonna make the creamy polenta. So what we have here is just four cups of water, and all we're gonna add is the actual polenta, Great. which is pretty much cornmeal. Most people know it for. Oh. the uh, plenty to the water and we're going to be adding the uh, nutritional yeast uh, next. I'll just dump that in there. Yeah, it's about two, it's one one cup of cornmeal or polenta yeah. and two tablespoons of nutritional yeast which uh, like gives you that kind of cheesy flavor also very high in, the, in your B vitamins so if you take B supplements you can get rid of them and just add B vitamins to your uh, diet through nutritional yeast. Then we just add a little salt and pepper and then we bring that to a boil and then we simmer it about 12 minutes until it's nice and creamy and all the water is pretty much gone. And what we have to do is just constantly stir it a little bit. Great. Why don't we uh, get that on the stove? So we're going to start with the uh, marinade and a little bit of crushed garlic and a few other ingredients. Um, what's all going into the uh, marinade, Chef? It's a very simple uh, marination with fresh garlic, fresh basil, olive oil, and we mix that all up in my nice little tool here. And then we add that to our vegetables. We add a little bit of salt and pepper, and we also add a little bit of balsamic vinegar, which is high in sugar, so that will give it a nice chow when we actually put it on a barbecue and gives it a nice acidity, which always wakes the food up a little bit. Great, let's uh, get started. We're gonna be doing the uh, vegetables and the marinade. Uh, why don't you tell the viewers uh, what kind of vegetables we're gonna be putting on the grill today? Sure, pretty much you can use any kind of veggies you have around, from peppers to zucchinis, eggplants, carrots, 
even romaine lettuce cut in half would work or char, any kind of Swiss char or red char or like pretty much any vegetable. Like the thinner the vegetable is, the less you cook it on the barbecue. That's the only thing I would recommend. So in our case here we have some green asparagus where I just peeled the ends off a little bit. Instead of cutting off all that tougher bark from the asparagus, I would just say just always recommend just cut off a little bit and then just give it a quick peel so it's nice and tender underneath though. Then we have some carrots here, we got some eggplant, zucchinis, half inch slices I would recommend so it stays nice al dente and crunchy in the middle. Yeah. You don't lose any of those minerals and vitamins. Then we also have some red onions, some tomatoes of course, uh, yellow peppers and we will also do a couple of marinated artichokes which we just give a quick sear. So the next thing we will do is just make a nice little marinations for our vegetables and then we're gonna go outside and give them a quick sear on the barbecue. Great! finishing off the uh, polenta. So why don't you tell the viewers about that, Chef Bernie? So we had the polenta simmering for about 10 minutes. It's almost ready, it will just need another two minutes. So the last two things we're gonna add is just a little bit of freshness of the preserved lemons and also those sun-dried tomatoes. We're just gonna add into it just to give it that nice tomatoey and lemony flavor and just wake up that whole polenta before we're gonna plate it. Great, why don't we uh, start that? absolutely amazing. Um, what are we going to be uh, putting into the hummus? I'll be starting off with some chickpeas. In this particular case we actually use a can of chickpeas. So I would recommend to be careful of preservatives. So just try to get a product if you use a can. It would always be best fresh but this means yeah. you have to soak them overnight, boil them and then drain them and use that thing. So we're using a canned product like here with no preservatives and very low in sodium. What I would also recommend is never drain the juice out of it. There's actually more after you boil it, they boil it inside the can. So there's more nutrition and minerals in the actual liquid than in the actual chickpeas at this stage. So do not throw out the, the drain, just dump the whole can in there and you're good. Great. So then the two other things we add is just whole garlic. If you don't like the taste of garlic too much, then I would recommend to just roast it. Just put it in a little frying pan with a little bit of olive oil and just roast it off a little bit. That just takes the intensity off. It still gives you a light garlic flavor. In this case, we just use it raw because I like the garlic flavor. So Me too. Uh, then we're putting in uh, tahini. 
and nutritional yeast. So the hummus looks uh, absolutely amazing. Um, we're actually uh, going to give it a try on camera here. Normally we uh, cook everything and we're uh, incredibly ravenous after and we just devour it. So we thought uh, we'd actually uh, give her a taste uh, before we finish filming here. So why don't we uh, dig in? We got some pita bread here and a few other things. I'm so excited. It looks amazing. amazing. In front of the camera. Hummus was delicious. It's uh, now, but. yeah, I know. I agree. Compliments to the chef here. Um, so next, we're going to be doing our maple baked pears with uh, walnuts. And uh, why don't you go through uh, how we're going to do that? Yeah, all we do is basically we take two, three pears, we peel them, we de seed them, cut them in half. Then we just add some half or pieces of walnut or any kind of nuts pretty much you have around. You can just do pecans, walnuts, hazelnuts, you name it. Like. Yeah. And then all we just add is a little bit of maple syrup to keep it all natural so we don't actually have to use any sugar or anything like that. Worst case scenario, you can use brown sugar. I would encourage to use brown sugar, not white sugar. It just gives you that extra caramel flavor. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> No, that's great. And one thing I will point out again, you'll notice with some of these desserts that we're doing, it's, um, again, simple ingredients, something that you can kind of whip up. You don't actually have to go out and specifically buy a million different ingredients if you're going to bake a pie or something like that. Um, it's simplistic, there's a lot of nutrition in it, and uh, of course it's delicious while still kind of hitting the uh, sweet spot in terms of the uh, taste. So why don't we uh, put it together? I get you, please. <laughs> so there you have it, that was the uh, meal for today. It uh, was another amazing meal, so compliments to Chef Bernie here. And uh, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for uh, future videos as well. And uh, check out our other videos if you want a few other great recipe ideas. And also our Instagram account, we'll have some photos on there, uh, which will give you ideas for um, other recipes too. And uh, as always, remember to be positive, live with purpose, and eat delicious, wholesome, plant-based food.